you know what? I'm around food almost every day. The business that I'm in, I'm around food every day. And I'm telling you, barbecue ribs, fried chicken, hamburgers, Asian food, every type of food on the planet. And sometimes people say, man, how did you not break your commitment to yourself with all of that? I'm talking about, because when you're on a liquid fast, liquid diet, your senses are out of this world. I can smell a baby back rib from three miles away. But why don't I break it? None of y'all know. Nobody's around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm out here. Nobody knows if I'm lying. It's because I made a commitment to myself to reach a goal. It's not that I don't want the food. It's not that the food don't taste good. It's not that I'm not tempted. Finally, in my life, my commitment to me is greater than my desire for this food. Because I, because I know what's gonna happen. I would go tear a bag open, eat it, and when I'm done, I'll be feeling horrible. And I have to start all the way back over. Or maybe not. But I wouldn't feel good because I didn't eat it because it was time. I ate it because some other force. And I would rather wait until I say, now I'll eat this. Now I'll eat that. Not because I was under some type of compulsion and I didn't have self-control. My thought process going forward is everything I do, I want it to be within the confines of self-control. Not because somebody forced me to do it, but because I wanted to do it. And right now, I made a decision not to eat solid food. So be it. I gotta stay true to my own word, my own commitment to myself.